December 1894. The war with Spain dwindles down after the United States eliminated their presence from the Caribbean. With the Caribbean secure, the U.S. Navy turns its sights to other seas. After all, what does peace look like without an enemy on the horizon? What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As you can see here, peace has been signed between the United States and Spain. I actually had to go in and ask for peace again. It's been a few months, December 19 or 1894. So there we have it. We are now at peace. Let's see. Uh, we have five naval prestige and negative five unrest. People are happy with us. So that's a good thing. The war is over. United States and Spain negotiate for peace. It lasted 47 months, and the outcome was a minor victory. Now we get to figure out what they should pay. Oh, man. Nice. So apparently, we can ask for ships. Honestly, I don't want any of their ships. Their ships kind of suck. What I would like is... See, historically, we got the Philippines. But I'm thinking that maybe... Interesting. Okay, so if I select something, then... Like, I want East and West Philippines. We'll take the West Philippines and Guam. Well, that's what we'll propose. We'll see if they accept it or not. War reparations. That is awesome. We also got some new gun technology. We got the 8-inch caliber secondary guns. That's awesome. Tensions increase between the British Empire and the United States. Uh-oh. They must not have liked me taking the Philippines and Guam. That's what I'm guessing anyway. I'm not sure. I just... Uh, increased our, uh, or decreased, rather, our, our tensions. Our, they like us a little bit more. Now they, they don't. Military conflict. People of Switzerland take arms and try to gain control of Sw Swaziland that is currently occupied by Transvaal. All right, there we have it. So here we have the Spanish fleet suddenly just kind of appears. We are going to send our ships back to port because we need to refit and rearm some of these ships move. Let's move that one to Tampa. There we go. And I'm guessing maybe we should also send some ships to our new captured territories over here. We got the West Philippines and we also have Guam right there. That is Guam, right? Yes. <laughs> like I saw this uh, Agana. I've never been to Guam, so I'm not sure. But uh, I, I kind of knew where it would know where it's at. So. We got Guam and the West Philippines. Kind of wish I would have got the East Philippines as well, but beggars can't be 100% choosers. So we will send some ships that way as well. As a matter of fact, let's send... Do we have any ships in San Francisco? We do. We're going to send these sh three ships, our, these three light cruisers, uh, over there. We'll just send them to Guam first, and then we'll move them into the East uh, or West Philippines once we get there. So how long is that going to take? I did not see. There they are. Uh, I'd be, I think I have to try and move them again to see how long it was going to take. So it's not that big of a deal. All right. So let's take a look at our politics really quick. There we are. About middle still. Nothing as much has changed. It's only been a few months since the last episode. So we have about 77 uh, million people in our home state. A Neville Prestige is 124 we are admired with the na nation's uh, people. We are very content. That's our how angry uh, unrest they are with us. Our GDP is $24 billion, right? Yeah, $24.8 billion. We are growing, and you can see there the rest of our stats. The, the big numbers here, we have an active fleet of 54 ships, 18 of which are battleships. 21 are light cruisers and 15 torpedo boats. We are also building nine ships. We have three main task, for, task forces currently operating, and we are 63 uh, points of like with uh, Britain, 60 with France, Germany doesn't like us too much. The Russian Empire, actually, they started uh, really liking us. They were, they were doing a lot to try and uh, increase their relations with us. The Italians are not liking us at all. Neither are the Hungarians. Japan, we're kind of neutral with them. Spain, we are 100% neutral with them. And China, they really do not like us either. Take a look at our finances. 
we are now negative 50 million per month and but we do have a sizable income however we are no longer at war and we are going to be getting oh we need to build this too i didn't realize that that was done so let's build that really quick that's going to go all the way to max there we go so we are no longer at war so we're not getting all that awesome federal money uh, to help support and bolster the uh, the war effort so we need to lower down let's see we're going to actually lower down our crew training a little bit bring it down to about 70 and our tech budget will lower it down as well we'll do that about 50 there we go so that knocked off a few million so we'll see how it goes from there take a look at our research here we got another month to go on these boilers gun layout we can remove that we just got that one with those new eight inch guns Ooh, explosives let's put one into there mines we got four months on mines i'm not really seeing much else to help put a priority on ship design still the same uh ships nothing new our fleet we need to actually do some upgrades to these ships so let's take a look at what that's going to entail We'll go back to ship design. Let's take a look at the evil class battleship. Well, try to think because, yeah, let's take a look at the evil class uh, battleship. See if we can improve it at all. Okay, so here is the evil class battleship. Let's see if we can refit it. There we go. We can increase its... No, we can't increase its displacement. We can give it uh, some new engines. We'll keep the same rudder. We yeah, still have the steam steering. Nothing has changed with the uh, armor type. Do new barbettes. We're going to do the double bottom hole. Protect that battleship against those torpedoes. Standard bulkheads. Standard citadel. We're going to keep the standard ratio here for um, the the shell type. Base fuse. Let's do... Uh, let's see here. We're going to keep the base fuse. Standard AP. Shell size. We're going to keep that at heavy. Increased shell ammo. We're going to improve that the gun cotton. We're going to put the rangefinder on it. There we go. Now let's see. I think we got those new towers. So let's take a look at the towers. Can we change out the towers? I think so. We'll just rip those off. There we go. Take those off. Might as well strip it down. But I'd like to put this new tower on, but I don't think it'll actually fit. And of course it won't. So we'll drop that tower on. Take a look at our secondary tower. Of course, even the small one <laughs> won't fit. So this is this battleship design might be scrapped altogether. The evil class battleship. We might have to design a new, bigger one now that we have the ability to make a bigger hole design. So let's actually just exit this. Exit without saving. Yes. Of course, we can upgrade the battleship Washington class here, but I will design some new ships kind of off screen. That does take a while to do. So let's get back to the campaign here anyway. And we can, let's see here. We go back to here. We don't need to have some of these here. Uh, we can actually drop their crew. I select it, set crew. We'll set that down to nothing. Say okay. Now it's mothballed. So. We will mothball a couple of these ships in Havana. There we go. We don't want to do them all. We do need to have some ships. So once these ones here get back into uh, port, we will be mothballing some of them as well. We'll keep some active ships going here in San Diego and Seattle. Havana, we don't need to have this ship as well. So let's see. Oh, oh, not want to do that. Let's go ahead and set the crew. We'll set that down to nothing. Same with this guy here. We'll set that down to nothing. Mothball him, mothball him. And I believe now once these are mothballed, uh, other countries might offer to purchase them from us, which will bolster our uh, overall budget. We'll keep that one. This also saves us a ton of money. We'll take a look at that here in just a minute. All right, there we go. We mothballed a couple of ships, try and save some money. Let's take a look at that really quick. We still have a lot of ships. Yeah, we're down to 15 million per month. Uh, going out the door now. So we still have a good f sizable fleet though. Take a look at our politics again. Uh, we have 44 ships that are active. The Chinese Empire has 85. Uh, the Germans have 59. So we're kind of right in there. The British Empire, they have 70. So we do have about half as much as the British uh, and France, but we can reactivate those ships uh, pretty quick if we needed to. We didn't mothball that many. 
we're going to design a new ship here real soon and uh, that new ship will uh, be built and we might be able to I'll take a look at that refit design and try and and see where we can improve some of our existing ships let's go next turn advanced small funnels yay we finally got some new funnels new sea passage Greece would like to order one of the Washington class battleships for 94 percent sure well, why not so here we go this is what I was talking about Romania would like to buy the battleship Belknap not sure what battleship is that a Washington class it is a Washington class for 40 percent of its original cost this is pretty much a brand new ship like these ships have not seen much much uh combat at all does it have the date it was actually made but it doesn't really matter since where it's not crude and it's just kind of sitting there might as well get some money for it so we'll say yes they would like to buy the santa fe sure minus 30 percent of its cost battleship utah which is a washington class battleship for 39 sure there we go perfect okay so i th guess that oh that's that new uh uh passage right here the keel canal that's kind of cool where is our fleet here they are they are steaming across uh hopefully they have enough fuel to make it i didn't even think about that pearl harbor I'm not sure when i know pearl harbor became a state in like 1950 but i'm not sure when we actually uh took it over so i'm guessing pearl harbor right now is uh, yeah, controller is Hawaii. So they're they're kind of acting like they're their own nation, I guess, right now. All right, let's take a look at our finances. Minus 14. We got $604 million now. Take a look at our research. We can get rid of that one out of the boilers. And ooh, let's put it... I'm actually going to put it into the uh, range finder here. It's kind of low, but we really need to hit the enemy. When we're in these... Uh, gunfights uh, with the enemy we actually need to hit what we're shooting at so we'll do that Here we go take a look at our fleet uh, not much has really changed this one here is repairing okay they went to their end port now so yay we are going to mothball a couple more of these there we go all right they are we mothballed a couple more and let's take a look at our politics really quick. There we are. We're moving down the list, which isn't all that great, but I believe we're doing that because our our uh, ships, our fleet size is actually shrinking. So, which we do need to design some new ships here real soon. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that now. Let's jump in here to uh, new design. Let's take a look at the Washington class battleship. We, yeah, let's view it. You know what? This after taking a look at this ship. Uh, it's not, it's old, it's expensive, but it, we don't have much in the way of new stuff for it. Let's take a look. We'll refit. We don't have new, we, ha we got like new, uh, engines we can drop in it. It's not going to give us a lot. We, it's already got the, uh, range finder. So there's not a lot we can really do for it. So we're actually not going to refit it. We're just going to design some new ships here. So let's go ahead and exit. Probably could have selected new design from that first page. Okay, so here we go. Let's design us a new large uh, battleship. Do we want to do a battleship or do we want to do a another cruiser? I'd like to do like a, a heavy cruiser, but we don't have... Like we have the small battleship design. We have a coastal defense ship. We have the armored cruiser. And these are all really small. Like even if we like cranked up the displacement, it's still really small. So... I'm thinking about doing like a an export yacht. Let's make an export yacht. It's not going to really help out our uh, our fleet unless we build one of them ourselves. But if we can sell a couple of them for other people, uh, we get more money. But we have a ton of money, so maybe not. I'm kind of wavering on this, right? I I kind of like to I'd like to build a new ship with all the latest and greatest, but we don't have a lot of latest and greatest. So, let's see here. We're going to crank up the displacement. We're going to increase its width a little bit, make it a little bit better of a shooting platform. Let's go by 5% there. There we go. We're not going to mess with the draft at all. We'll give them standard crew quarters. Okay. Main tower. Drop that guy right there. Secondary tower. Let's do the big one. Might as well. Drop that guy right there. Cool. Funnels. Can I squeeze two more in there? Not okay. There we go. Ooh. 
That didn't count very well. Let's drop that out. There we go. Okay, speed's only 13 knots. We're, those are rookie numbers. We need to get those numbers up. This ship has got to be able to do... I was hoping for at least 16 knots. Can we do at least 16? It's only 70% efficient. That means we drop that out and we just put a bunch of these guys in there. Stack them in. I'm holding down the shift key. So there we... Oh, if I can get one more in there, it would bring us up to 111% at 16 knots. But without it, we're only at 89. That's good. I mean, it's not good. It's it's okay. Okay, so now uh, let's take a look at our main guns. Where we want centerline guns. We might be coming up against battleships in the next one. So I'm thinking, yeah, let's do the 10-inch guns for... Yeah, 5,000 meters. We're punching through 14, almost 15 inches of armor uh, with, with the AP rounds. With uh, the uh, HE rounds, we're punching through you know, uh, 1.3 inches of armor. Yeah, we'll do that. Of course, we want two barrels. Why wouldn't we? We'll bring that all the way back. We'll put one on the back here as well. Perfect. So now let's take a look at our, let's take a look at those guns really quick down here. Oh, those are casemates. Uh, here we go. So we can increase the diameter and the, well, we can't increase the length yet. Oh, darn it. Well, we'll keep the, ten, well, we'll just keep the 10 inch guns like that. That's good enough. All right. Secondary guns. I like these five inch guns. I think they do a pretty decent job on uh, lightly armored warships. So let's put a bunch of these on if we can. I have to get a little creative with where they go. I know we, we have these casemates down here. This is just like the Washington class battleship. In fact, this is turning into a very similar uh, Washington class battleship. Let's see. Oh, no. That's like inside of there. That's not going to do because those are... Yeah, no, they can't go there. Okay, and I can't select them. There we go. Put them on top of the turrets again. Seems to be a good spot. Put one here. Why can't you shoot out to the side? There we go. Okay, let's just put a bunch of five-inch guns then in the casemates. Okay, yeah, for some reason it's not letting me move. I can't, there we go. It got, like, stuck. Torpedo launchers? Can I put a torpedo launcher? Yes, I can. Do I, do I want to put a torpedo launcher? Probably not. And the reason why is because we might build this battleship. We're going to build at least one, but we need to keep the cost down a little bit. We're already at $44 million for this bad boy. So, what else can we do? We need armor. We'll take a look. Oh, we need everything, really. The fuel type is still coal. Still have the natural boilers. Let's give it that expansion uh, steam engine. We'll go... Yeah, let's take a look at this again. Uh, we were talking on Discord about well, somebody was chatting with me about these uh, rudders. Apparently I don't have it quite figured out. So let's do ship details. So I want the ship to be able to turn without losing a lot of speed. So I'm looking over over here, turning speed and our deceleration. Helpful. Okay, so if we have the balanced, uh, we're gonna keep 12.5% sustained speed while turning. So we'll be able to turn without losing as much speed. We'll be able to speed up a little bit faster, but our turning rate is going to be slow. It's not going to turn very fast. So we're here, if we do the unbalance, we turn around quicker, but we slow down faster, which then we have to speed back up. So which is better? Uh, let's just do semi-balanced. We'll be like a happy medium. So we'll still slow down, but we'll speed back up after the turn, but it won't take us all day to make that turn. Steam steering. Let's do the compound uh, armor. Have at one. We want double hole. Citadel one. We'll do a standard ratio. Uh, and we will do the standard ratio. Base fuse. Standard. We want heavy shells and increased shells. Gun cotton. Take a look at that again. So gun cotton, we get a little bit more muzzle velocity uh, and a lot more shell damage. Uh, they cost more. Uh, we have more of a chance of uh, exploding if somebody hits us in the magazine. Trollic, enhanced, rangefinder, coincidence one. Okay, now we need... Some guns have poor sectors of fire. Probably these ones here that only shoot forward. I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm ignoring that. I don't really care. Okay, so... Ooh, engine efficiency 102. Okay, perfect. Uh, Four-way offset is 9%. So that means we're heavy in the front. We need to balance out the back. So let's give it a little bit of, at, well, superstructure. We want to bring that up to like two inches. We want to protect uh, the superstructure itself. So let's do 
Um, aft belt, we'll watch that number start coming down. Try to get it balanced out pretty well. Main deck, we definitely want some on the main deck. Do four inches there on the main deck. Four belt, we'll give it some armor, some protection up here. We might be driving towards the enemy. The main belt is already at 9.6. We'll just bring that up to a full 10 inches. Our first layer of citadel armor, let's give it an inch. We are now at 100%. But we're also very heavy, uh, again, forward. So let's um, aft deck. Where's the aft deck? Right there it is. Let's bring that up. We're going to go over temporarily. I'm just trying to balance this out. There we go. Let's bring down that main belt. There we go. Okay. Turret armor. Not worrying about that right now. Casemate armor. Again, 8 inches is fine. We got 10 inch guns, 5 inch guns, and 5 inch casemates. There it is. I'm calling that complete. The Oh, no, I'm not. Let's speed it up. Ooh, do 17 knots. We're still overweight, so let's go back down here to the armor. And we will... Hmm, where do we take it from? Let's take it from the main belt. It's not going to take much. There we go. Wow, she's expensive. But this is top of the line. It's got all the latest and greatest. The Virginia-class battleship. Let's take a look at the stats here. It's a Virginia-class battleship. We are displacing... 16,000 tons for a cost of $70 million. It's going to take 17 months to build it. It's going to cost just under $2 million per month. Top speed is 17 knots. It's a rocket ship. Uh, and the armament is 2 by 2 10-inch guns, 18 5-inch guns, and 4 5-inch casemates guns. Or those are the other guns. The, the 18 must be the casemates because we have more of them. So there we go. That is the new ship. We'll go ahead and save this design. And there we have it right there. We're going to go ahead and build one of these ships just to have it. Uh, it's going to cost 4000 k a month. That's fine. We'll build one. The reason why is because I want just one ship. And we are going to put that one in... Oh, let's put it in the West Philippines. There we go. Finances. We're down to eight. So we can... We can definitely handle that. I kind of want to do refit what we already have, but I want more technology, I guess, maybe to refit them with, if that makes any kind of sense. Let's go next turn. They want a Duluth class light cruiser for 74% profit to us. Sure, why not? Uh oh, the Hungarians uh, actually increased the relationships with us. That's great. They would like to buy the battleship Rhode Island, which is an evil class battleship. Sure, why not? Kentucky, that's an evil class battleship. Sure, why not? Battleship Maine is a Washington class for a little bit more than ha or a little bit less than half of what it's worth. Sure, why not? Our technology, we are behind the curve here in technology. Apparently, the world is leading us. I just saw all this over here. We are building eight ships. Uh, one of us is a battleship. We're repairing no or none. We're refitting none. We have 39 active ships. We control 16 providences. So. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go back in here to our finances, and we're going to increase that by a lot. We can afford it, uh, so we might as well. Speaking of our, our tech budget here, let's... Okay, here we go. Finally, we've got one more turn, and we'll get these mines and the explosives done. We'll figure out what we're going to do at that point. Ship design, nothing has changed, and fleet, nothing has changed. Thinking about mothballing a few more of these ships and selling them but you know some of these here i can't even sell so let's see let's sort that by type that's a little bit easier for me to see here there we go sort of by type and it auto sorts by class here if i sell off all of these evil class ones i'm not going to be upset so let's actually mothball these ones here there we go i'm keeping the evil because that is my current ship my my flagship, if you will. We go to here. If I I want to see it on the map. Where is it at? Gulf of Mexico and Miami. Okay, we can scrap them too. Nice. I'm gonna keep these three like that. We have lots of cruisers, lots of torpedo boats. Where was battleship? I'm building. There it is, right there. Perfect. In Manila, I would like to see the ship. I'm gonna bring it back. We'll put it like in Washington or something. So it is in Miami currently. Go to world. Go to Miami. Gonna move ships. I will put it in Norfolk. And we are taking just that ship. Move. There we go. All right. Next turn. New technology and explosives. We got some smoke. So we got uh, minus five in the cooldown and, and plus ten in the duration. 
That's great news. Uh, minefield size, yay. Warship trade. The Ottoman Empire would like to order one of the evil class battleships. They will pay a bunch of money for one. Would you agree? Yeah, if you want one. I'd like to buy the battleship Washington. This is the namesake. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to sell it for... I mean, that's a good price. Uh, no, I'm not going to sell that one. Matter of fact, that battleship Washington, where did it go? Here it is right here. It's mothballed in the Caribbean right now. Let's go ahead and set that crew. That's a pretty good... It's going to commission in two months. Uh, that's a pretty good ship. So, and oh, what about the Oregon? Where is the Oregon? Did we sell that one already? Oh, we we like the Oregon. The Oregon did very well. We're going to set that crew as well. We're going to bring it up back online. The reason why uh, I'm bringing that one up, if you remember back uh, to the last episode... I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the entire Spanish fleet with just the Oregon and one torpedo boat, and we kicked butt. The Oregon is an amazing battleship. So it's going to stick around for a long while and get refit and all that kind of stuff if we can figure out a good way of refitting it with new technology in the future. All right, let's take a look at research. Uh, we're going to get that one out of there. And let's do... I'll take the one out of it. We'll also take the one out of mines here, because that's done. Oh, let's do... When do we get submarines? We'll put one in, in submarines, just for fun. And the hull strengthening. We need to get some new hull designs coming up pretty soon. So, yeah. There we go, world. Not a lot is changing. Where is our ship? Okay, here we go. They are at 84% fuel still, so they are still rocking and rolling. Heading towards uh, Guam. Currently, the world is mostly at peace. Where's Guam? There it is. Way over here on the edge. There we go. Let's take a look at the politics tab. Like I said, the world is mostly at peace. Let's scroll down and find us. We're probably near the bottom again. Yeah, we're third from the bottom now. Uh, we have 37 active ships. Um, there you can see the relationships that we have. Not a lot has changed. So, also Hungarians, they are uh, improving their relationship with us. But the Italians, they don't really care for us too much. And of course, China doesn't care for us too much either. Which begs the, the, the question, should we bolster this fleet here in the Philippine Sea and in Southeast Asia, East Asia? Because that's them right there. We don't currently have any presence in the Mediterranean around Italy. So I'm not too worried about the Italians at this time. But we do have ports now very close to uh, China. So we might be sending some more ships that way in anticipation of China kicking off war with the United States. Let's check that one more time. 68% or 68 points negative. They're pretty strong. They have 85 ships, 9 battleships, 21 carriers, 26 light or 21 cruisers, uh, 26 light cruisers, and 29 torpedo boats. They are a force to be reckoned with. They are building four as well. So... And it looks like they're about to go to war with Japan. Japan, that's a pretty good size fleet as well. So, yeah. One thing I am going to do, though, is I really like Brit Britain. I would like to be their ally. So let's go ahead and improve relationships with them, world. And let's go next turn. Several of our country's shipbuilding industries are constructing warships for third countries. What is your opinion? Uh, any business cooperation with third countries improves our bilateral relations and their strengthen, strengthens our defense industry in the long term. Permit such cooperation, but in a limited scope, in order not to leak our secret technologies. You are, categor you are categorically against this practice that would strengthen our future rivals. You know, I, I'm leaning towards this one. Uh, it's going to increase our unrest, but... Uh, it's going to increase our relationships with just about everyone. Uh, if we do this one, our GDP goes up a little bit, our unrest goes up a little bit. If we do this one, we lose a bunch of points with everyone, but our naval prestige uh, will go down and our unrest will go down as well. I'm leaning towards this one, and the only reason I say that is because we are currently building ships for other nations and uh, helping them. Of course, those are the minor nations, so... But if, like, the Germans or something like that really wanted a ship, one of our ships, I'd probably sell it to them. <laughs> so we're going to go do that. All right. The Russians like us. We we were successful with the British Empire. So that's great. We strengthened our relationship with the Italians. That's great news. The Ottoman Empire would like to buy the CL Concorde. Sure. All right. 
There's our fleet about to head off the edge of the map. Take a look at our politics really quick. Yet again, now things have changed just a little bit, but not enough to really notice any major change or difference. I'm curious as to what happens when we are at 100% with like the British Empire. Will they like us so much that we become allies with them? I'm not sure. Finances, let's take a look at that. We are losing $27 million per month. Research. Uh, we still, we got three months to go in there. Two months to go down here. And range finders, we don't know what we're doing yet. Our mechanisms, uh, eight months. So as soon as one of these are done, probably that one, we'll move it to the turret mechanisms. Ship design, this thing has changed. And here is our fleet as it stands now. Not a lot has changed. Let's do the next turn. You know, the people in the Virgin Islands went up against Denmark. Ooh, that didn't go well for them. They would like to buy the battleship Indiana. Sure. Okay, let's take a look at our finances. We're still doing well. No real complaints. Research. One more month to go in there. Nothing else has really changed. Okay, so, but we did commission a couple of those ships. So the Oregon, it's in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're going to bring it up and park it somewhere. The... What other one did we bring out of mothballs? Oh, it was the uh, Washington class, uh, the, U the USS Washington. Yeah, we can, let's see, well, we'll do something with it here. Let's find them. Where were they? Havana and Miami. So the Oregon, we are going to move to Oregon. Well, I would like to move it to Oregon, but Oregon doesn't have a port. Let's bring it up to Portland. Since there is a Portland, Oregon, we'll move it to Portland, Maine. <laughs> Uh, I cracked myself up. All right, so move that ship there. And the other one was in Havana, and it was the Washington. Let's move the Washington to Washington. That's going to take a long while for that ship to get there. Can't wait for that um, canal to be created. That'll make moving from the East Coast to the West Coast so much nicer. Of course, sending it without an escort isn't the greatest, but we are currently not at war, so... It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's see. Our ships arrive yet? Nope. They are still right there. Once a couple of them show up, we'll leave one here in Guam and send the other two to the West Philippines, Manila Bay area. Right? That is Manila Bay. Yeah, that's Manila Bay. Cool. Let's see. Finances. Again, we're doing well. Research. Everything's about the same. Yay. Cool. Next turn. Okay. So we're learning about submarines, even though they haven't been used yet in organized warfare. Uh, which, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm doing that whole wishy-washy thing. Uh, they were used in the American Civil War, uh, the USS Huntley. They were used in the American uh, War for Independence, uh, the Revolutionary War. Uh, so, that and that was just like a barrel. So, in theory, yeah, okay, fine. Seems like I put a lot of effort into that. All right, so they would like to buy one of the Virginia-class battleships. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. Export yacht. So, yep. They want to buy it for 111%. That's going to bolster our finances. Let's get it done. So, the Battle of the Virgin, Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands, they're getting their butts kicked by Denmark. They would like to buy the the USS Bainbridge, which is a guessing that is a uh, evil class. Even though I can't see it if I move. There we go. Yep. Evil class battleship. So, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so we have these ships here now, so we'll take these ships. We'll move those two over to Manila Bay. These ships are still moving. Other than that, everything is hunky-dory. Take a look at our politics really quick. We moved up in the world a little bit. Uh, we are now above the Italians. I'm sure they love that. And let's try to increase our relationship with the British. Improve relations, yes. Finances. Still looking good. I mean, we're we're making money by selling ships, and uh, we're we're spending money on our research. Let's take a look at it. We got one month to go on the whole strengthening. We can remove that one now. That was a waste. Okay, let's do current mechanisms. One month to go on there. I'm hesitant to pull the priority out of rangefinders, just because I want that fire control. We need to hit our targets. So yeah, we're, we'll put some priorities into full designs here real soon and the guns as well ship design nothing has changed our fleet nothing has changed other than some ships are at sea other than that 
we are looking good. Come back here to the world. We're still behind in our technology. Let's do next turn. The Chinese Empire has increased its naval budget considerably. How should we respond? Uh, if we increase our naval, naval budget to counter theirs, uh, it's going to increase our unrest. It's going to decrease our relationship with the Chinese and increase our navy, navy budget by 1.5%. Uh, we could say our our fleet is strong enough, and that doesn't do anything good for anyone. Our navy budget is already too high. Uh, I mean, that's that looks like the right one, but it's going to decrease our naval budget, which I really don't want to do, but oh well, we'll do that one. Okay, the government is interested. No, if you could... Guarantee a victory over the Italian Empire in the upcoming war. Wow. Okay. We could say that, of course, our fleet is strong enough. It's only, it is only necessary to increase funding for the additional training of our crew. That's going to piss off the Italians something fierce and increase our naval budget. And I, or I could say I can, but only after the entry into service of important combat units. Funding must be significantly increased, which will give, our, uh, give us a 1.5% boost lower our GDP, increase our unrest, and piss off the Italians. Or I could say it is better to discuss how to improve the relationship with the Italian Empire. We're going to lose a lot of naval prestige. Uh, our unrest will go down, and our relationship with the Italians will go up. So looking at our naval prestige, we are at 130.8 with that. So that is the right answer. Let's do that. All right, we got the whole strengthening finally. So we got a little bit more to uh, the weight reduction and resistance and to our form, so yay. And we got some new turret mechanisms. So we got 4% max, max length increase for very small gun barrels, two inches and lower. So the Ottoman Empire, they would like to order one of the Virginia class battleships for 62% profit. That's not quite enough for me to want to do it. I like, the, like, like it to be about 80% or more. That makes it I guess better for me, just morally, I guess, I don't know. 62% profit is actually, it's a pretty good profit, I'm not going to lie. But they only pay 25% in advance. So, and after 17 months, they will provide the rest, which is going to total 62%. So for 17 months, we take a hit on building the ship. So I, I'm hesitant to do it for just that amount. So I'm going to say no. Oh, we failed to increase our relationship with the British... Bummer, we lost two naval prestige. Oh, the Spanish uh, admiral tried increasing with us, and that has failed. And here we go. The, the Virgin Islands, they keep losing people to Denmark. So that's not good for them. The Ottoman Empire would like to buy this, the USS Brooklyn for 35% of its original cost. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, where are we at? There goes the uh, Washington over to Washington. It's going to sail all the way around South America which is unfortunate for them. That canal should be open any time, so maybe it would have been better to wait if it does open on time. Um, and the Oregon went to Portland, Maine. And if we come over here to the Philippine Sea and Southeast Asia, uh, we got these two ships. They are sailing for Manila Bay. Let's take a look at our politics really quick because I'm curious about how the Chinese are seeing us. They have 85 ships. Wow, they got a lot of ships. Most of which are are, are uh, uh, cruisers and torpedo boats. They do have nine battleships. We are at minus 64 with them. While we are here, let's try one more time to... Oh, we can't improve relationships with them. That sucks. Okay, finances. We are almost negative 30 in the hole. We are losing money at the rapid rate. But that's all right. We planned ahead for that. Let's pull that out of hole strengthening. Let's put it into cruiser design. I almost went for small guns, but um, yeah, we're, we're almost there anyway. We'll, we'll hit up this cruiser design. We need new ships soon, I think. We'll take that out of there. There we go. We'll put that there. Perfect. All right. Nothing has changed in ship design or the fleet. Next turn. All right. Here we go. We can now build a heavy cruiser. Woohoo. No tension. The recent provocations of Chief Admiral, yes, of Japan were simply ignored by the United States. Ooh, we just ignored them. People of Egypt takes arms against the Ottoman Empire. There we go. They would like to buy the battleship South Dakota, which is an evil class battleship. Sure, why not? We can use the money. And the ship's just sitting there mothballed. Ooh, hello. Uh, it's the Danish coming over for the uh, uh, Virgin Islands. 
that conflict. Kind of interesting to see a new flag over here. I would like to become allies with uh, uh, the Canadians. I think that'd be great. All right. Okay, one thing I just noticed too is that our technology, we are now listed as average. So that's great for our research. Let's go next turn. Okay, we got the Mark three, or excuse me, we got the Mark two three inch guns. Who? Nope. I'm an empire would like to buy the Delaware, which is a evil class battleship. Sure, let's do it. Perfect. Okay, let's take a look at our finances. We're coming down uh, minus 30 million pretty much per month. But I wish th this really needs to hurry up as well. Um, we need to be able to build bigger, stronger, faster ships. Speaking of which, let's take a look at this now. We'll take that out of, out of that uh, small guns. Not seeing much else to put it into right now. Let's do... Mm, we're going to pop one into hull construction. I think that'll help kind of bring that up a little bit. Ooh, special machinery. I didn't see that one. Uh, yeah, let's do that one instead. We'll plop that in there. This is going to be four months. There we go. Get our engines a little bit more efficient. Looks like uh, those are part of the, the balance on balance, the uh, rudder design. But the lighter reciprocating system researching, whatever that is. Oh, it's the uh, engine weight. So... We'll bring that along with us. Perfect. Again, not a lot going on. Building some ships. Uh, but, yeah, they're just kind of sitting. Not really doing much. Not a lot's going on. Let's go next turn. Okay, the war rages down here in the um, Virgin Islands and over in the southern region of Egypt. They want to buy the Connecticut, which is an evil class battleship. We will sell it to them. With all the ships that the Ottoman Empire has purchased from us or had commissioned to be built for them, they should be a very strong fleet. So, But uh, I don't see any of their ships over here. So I don't know what they're doing with them, but whatever. Either their their naval tactics must suck if they're like losing them. So, because they're good ships. I don't know. We are now behind in our technology, so that's not great. Let's take a look at our budget. We are bumped up again because we keep selling ships, which is fine by me. And nothing changed in research or ship design or fleet. Politics, take a look. We will improve relationships with the British Empire. We are currently sitting at the fourth spot. So nothing, nothing new. Like we're just clicking through next turns. Okay, so the British Empire offers an alliance agreement but needs a considerable financial aid to support its navy is something that that would interest us i mean yes but i don't want to pay for it okay so we have the money to share and having an ally to fight with us in a future war would be a considerable asset yes i agree with that but let's see what it's going to take 89 million dollars wow or we understand the problems of the british empire but if they do not have money to support their navy how can they be valuable to us we should not accept we lose a lot of relations with the British Empire, but our prestige goes through the roof. $89 million. I mean, we can afford it, but holy cow, that's a lot of money. I mean, we have $87 million, so it's going to piss us, piss our people off, and we're going to lose uh, a full percent for our total naval budget. We're not at war with anybody, but they are the strongest. They are the big guys. They, they, are, they walk with a big stick. I think that we should be, we should do this. I, I really don't want to spend that much money. Holy cow, I don't want to spend that much money. But I think we kind of have to. All right, we got the alliance between the United States and the British. There we go. We have five naval prestige. Our prestige went up a little bit overall. There is that big battle, those two big battles going on. They want to buy the Arkansas. Yeah, we need the money now, for sure. Let's take a look at our finances. Whew. I mean, we're, we're, we're better than we were, for sure. But we're losing 18 million a month, so we could probably drop our crew down. But you know, the, it's not just the amount of crew people; it's also their training level. So I want to keep that up. Research: We're pretty close to getting some some new things going on here. Design: Nothing has changed. Fleet: Nothing has changed. Let's take a look at our politics. We went well. We're still in the fourth position. We are at 100 with British. So that's awesome. And we have an, an ally with them. They currently have 11 battleships, 16 uh, armored carriers, 21 light carriers, 22 torpedo boats for 70 ships. They're not building anything. They're not doing anything. They have five task forces. Their GDP is through the roof. And uh, 
yeah, they're they're a they're a powerhouse for sure, which is why they're on the top. So woohoo! Next turn. All right, we got some oil found. Yay! New technology. We got that five thousand ton heavy cruiser. Yay! We'll be building one of those here soon, I'm hoping. And those two battles continue to rage. They want to buy this ship from us, which is an evil class battleship for $23 million. Yep, we'll do that. Perfect. So, not a lot. With Our technology is still falling behind here. Take a look at our politics. Nothing has changed. Again, finances. We got a bunch of money. So, yeah, we'll take that out of cruiser design. Let's do big uh, shells. What else we got? An improved accuracy. Mark 1 13-inch guns. Yeah, those, those are pretty big. I'm thinking we need better shells first. Let's put drop that in there. There we go. Cool. Special machinery. That uh, lighter reciprocating system will be available next month. Let's go back to world. There we have it. All right, let's do next turn because there's nothing else to really do next turn there is our new engine oh i must have been reading that wrong because the virgin islands has defeated the remnants of denmark's forces and gained the full control of the virgin islands good for them i thought that denmark was kicking the virgin islands but maybe i remember that wrong that battle continues to rage and here we are it's january 1896 i think that's a great place to leave the for now we did a full year at least so not a lot has changed here you know we, we are uh Still in fourth place from the bottom. Uh, we are allies now with the British. Our finances, we got a ton of money. We're spending a ton of money. We're researching everything that we can at the rapid rate. In fact, let's move that out of there. And let's... I'm not a big fan of big guns yet. So... But let's just get it done and over with. Ship designs. Again, nothing has changed. Fleet. Uh... Here it is. I mean, we got a bunch of ships. We do need to build some heavy cruisers now. I would like to try and refit uh, the battleships. Maybe these uh, these cruisers here. I'll play with that kind of off screen. And so the next episode, if I do end up doing something new with that, you will see it uh, right away. So, yeah, not a lot has changed. So just kind of an easy year. And uh, that's the world. As it sits in January 1896. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. Please let me know how I'm doing. It really does help out with the algorithm. If you do leave a comment, just say hi, if nothing else. So I do really do appreciate all of you for sticking around and watching. This is a game is a bucket of fun. I really do enjoy it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.